Hey guys, come on downstairs. We are doing our New York Knicks franchise. This is episode number 29. We're in the NBA playoffs of year number two. And we are in round number one. We are the eight seed at 41 and 41, taking on the number one seed Cleveland Cavs. And we are down three games to none going into game four. The Cavs, without LeBron James for the remainder of this series, they're going to need Isaiah Thomas to step up. He is averaging 18.7 points a game in the series. KP, 28.3 points per game, having a fantastic series for the Knicks. He's going to have to do more if they're going to still a game or two in this series. It's game four from MSG as we get things underway early, early in the first quarter. Isaiah Thomas scoops it off the glass. And here comes Frank Nilakina. Nilakina around the screen for Porzingis, gets down the lane, kicks it back out to KP. And his three goes down. It is nine to four. Knicks with an early lead. The Cavs have gone on a bit of a run now, though. And Isaiah Thomas with it. Hands it to Olinick. He gets it knocked away. IT gets it back. He gets a little bit of space. Doesn't take much. And we are midway through the first quarter. Nilakina over to KP. Gets Olinick in the air, but he backs it out. Gets it to Nilakina again. Nilakina going one on one down the lane against Isaiah Thomas. And we are just under five minutes to go in the first. Rajon Rondo in to run the point now for the Cavs. Rondo holding Nilakina, sags off of him a bit. Cross-court pass to Olenek from the angle. And the Cavs on a big run. Here's Olenek again, guarded by KP to Rondo on the angle. DeLon Wright sags off of him again. Back to Olenek. His shot blocked from KP. Cephalosha has it. And here is Porzingis on the run out. Lead cut to five. Back out to an eight-point Cavs lead, though. Less than a minute to go in the first. Doug McDermott into the corner to Saric. Dario Saric against Kelly Olinick. Olinick playing some nice defense there. It's back out to McDermott. His three from the angle is short. And Olinick pulls down the board, gets it out to Crowder quickly on the right sideline. Crowder, fall away from the baseline, and it's a 10-point double-digit lead for the Cavs. We go to the end of the first quarter with Cleveland up by 7, 31-24. Second quarter action, Isaiah Thomas, guarded by Frank Nilakina. Thomas, trying to go one-on-one against Nilakina, whips it back out to Jarebko. His three rolls around the rim and off, rebounded by Monroe, outlet to Tim Hardaway Jr., Tim Hardaway Jr. is going to back it out, has some space, lets the three go. And the lead is back at nine for the Cavs with 3.50 to go in the second quarter. Here's Osman. Osman hands to Isaiah Thomas. Thomas guarded by Frank Nilakina at the top of the key over the left angle to Osman. Osman has Tim Hardaway Jr. on him. Back to Isaiah Thomas. He steps into a three, looking down the barrel. Cavs by double digits with three minutes to go in the first half. We have fallen behind in every one of these games, all four of them, and had to dig ourselves out of a hole. Here is Thomas around the screen. Nice spin move, pump fake, over to Jarebko. Oh my goodness. Thomas gets everybody to crash into the lane, and then he kicks it out for the open shot. Cavs would take a 15-point lead into the halftime break, shooting 48%, 28 rebounds to 13. Kelly Olinick, 15 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists for Cleveland. And they are out-rebounding us 37-21 at this point in the third quarter. We are down by 12. Jay Crowder holding, guarded by Cephalosha. Crowder, couple of pump fakes. To Isaiah Thomas. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Isaiah Thomas. Neil Aquina gets caught up in the screen as he went for the jab step. And the Cavs lead by 14. 8.50 8.50 to go in the third. Nilakina around the screen for Porzingis. Nilakina down the lane, kicks it back out to Porzingis. His three, looking down the barrel, is good. It's an 11-point lead for Cleveland. Five minutes to go in the third. Thomas left side to Tristan Thompson. Thompson hands back to IT. Cavs trying to close out the series here in game number four. IT around the screen. He is double team. Porzingis knocks it away, gets it back. Here's Nilakina. Nilakina right side to Tim Hardaway Jr., And he throws it down, going baseline for the hammer. Lead is cut to eight, 
2.50 to go in the third. If the Knicks are going to make a run, they need to get something going here. Kelly Olenek puts his head down and gets all the way to the rim. Score it, count it. He is fouled by Dario Saric. And Olenek will go to the line for one, try to convert a three-point play, and give the Cavs an 11-point lead. 15 seconds left in the third now. Rondo. Nice dime to Zizic. Score it, count it. He is fouled as well. Dario Saric again with the foul. And uh, Zizic will go to the free throw line. Try to give the Cavs a 15-point lead with just 10 seconds to go in the third. He does. And we head into quarter number four of game number four with a 13-point Cleveland lead. So we've got a little digging to do to get ourselves out of this hole. Over to Osman. Corner three rattles around the rim. No. Olenek with the rebound. He misses, and DeLon Wright, the point guard, pulls it down. Nick's coming the other way. McDermott pulls up in transition. And that cuts the lead to single digits with 10 minutes to go. We're at the eight-minute mark. Eight-point lead for Cleveland. Left corner, three, Osman. Shot is short. Rebounded by McDermott. McDermott pushes it to Saric. Saric to DeLon Wright, going right down the lane, right at Jarebko. Lay it up and in. It is a six-point lead, and the Cavs need a timeout. With eight minutes to go, plenty of time for the Knicks. They have made a little run to start the fourth quarter. Here's IT. To Jarebko on the angle. Jarebko back to IT. Thomas holding around the double screen. Kicks it to the corner. Osman, three, good. Cavs by eight. Six and a half minutes to go. Osman. Guarded by Tim Hardaway Jr. to Jay Crowder. Cephalosha on him. Back to Osman. It's deflected. And Neil Aquina has it. He'll take it all the way for the hammer. Six point lead again for the Cavs after the turnover and the breakout. 91, 87. Cavs corner. Crowder. Three. Rattles out. Rebounded by Greg Monroe. Hands to Neil Aquina. Knicks can cut the lead to two here with 440 to go. Porzingis, double teamed, gets it back to Cephalosha, back to Porzingis. He lets it fly, goes glass. 91 to 89, that's a two-point game. Cavs have it, Thomas holding, guarded by Cephalosha. MSG crowd getting into it here, trying to will the Knicks to a stop. Crowder, right side, Osman, he fakes the pass. Comes around the screen from Jarebko. Osman, pump fake, hits IT in the corner. His shot rims out, but Tristan Thompson is there for the follow. Two-point game again with 3.30 to go. Crowder guarded by Cephalosha. He's at the elbow. Crowder gets into the lane, kicks it out to the left corner. IT wide open three. He's not going to miss that. Cannot leave that little guy without open. 102.95. Cleveland with the lead with one minute to go. Knicks in a tough situation. But Cephalosha's three from the corner could help, but it rattles out. And the Cavs get the rebound. We're at less than a minute to go. Cavs by seven. And down the lane, Jarebko is fouled hard by Porzingis. He's going to shoot two. That's the fifth foul on KP. Doesn't matter much, though. 47 seconds left. Cavs by seven. Looking like they might close this one out here on the road and get the sweep and not let the Knicks back into the series without LeBron. Nine-point lead, Neil Aquina to Tim Hardaway Jr. Desperation three off the front of the rim. And this one is over. You can ice it up, put it in the refrigerator, slam the door shut. The Knicks season is going to end in a disappointing sweep to the hands of the Cavs. I knew we didn't want to be the eight seed. Would have been much better to be the seven seed, but we did not get the job done in the regular season. So we end up with the eight seed and a sweep to the Cavs, with, even without LeBron in game number four. A 106-95 final from MSG. That will end season number two of our Knicks franchise. KP, 27 points, nine rebounds. Kelly Olynyk 21 points, 10 rebounds for the Cavs. All right, so our season is over with, but we have not crowned a champion for year number two, so let's go through the rest of the NBA playoffs. The Cavs win that series. 
Pacers beat the Pistons in game four, 103 to 84. They lead that series. Wizards beat or fall to the Celtics, 96 94. They still lead that series, though. Bucks tie up the series with the Sixers. Thunder tie up the series with the Clippers in game number four. Blazers beat the Wiz uh, Warriors. And that series is all tied up at two. The Blazers giving the Warriors all they can handle. The Grizzlies beat the Spurs 101-92, and they are on the verge of knocking San Antonio out. The Wolves stay alive in a Game 4 victory to cut the series lead to 3-1. to one. The Pacers over the Pistons in Game 5. Pacers win that series. The Wizards beat the Celtics, and they win that series four games to one. The Bucks lead the series 3-2 to two with a win in Game 5 over the Sixers. Game 5, the Thunder, 116-98 over the Clippers. They have a 3-2 series lead. Game 5, the Blazers beat the Warriors by 3 to take a 3-2 series lead. And the Spurs stay alive against the Grizzlies to force a Game 6. Wolves stay alive again against the Rockets. That one's going to 6. Wolves have won 2 in a row. Sixers 108, Bucks 100. That series will be going to a Game 7. And the Clippers beat the Thunder. That one is also going to go to Game 7. The Warriors beat the Blazers, and that ties up the series at three games apiece. And the Spurs over the Grizzlies, that series is also tied. We go to game six, the Rockets finally put the Wolves away. They win the series four games to two. Game seven, the Bucks over the Sixers, they will move on. And game seven, the Thunder over the Clippers, they win the series four games to three. And game seven between the Warriors and the Blazers, the Warriors win at 135 to 104 and win the series four games to three. The Spurs come back and win three in a row to beat the Grizzlies and knock them out of the playoffs. So let's look at the Eastern Conference brackets. The second round, you got the Cavs and the Bucks and the Pacers and the Wizards. The Pacers are the seven seed. So like I said, we should have got that seven seed. It would have been a much easier road for us. We might have gotten away with a first round victory like the Pacers did. Over in the West, the Thunder and the Rockets. And the Warriors and the Spurs. The Spurs were the sixth seed. Warriors the two seed. The Rockets the four seed. The Thunder the one seed. So let's head to the second round. The Eastern Conference semis. The Cavs win game one over the Bucks. Lead the series 1-0. Wizards over the Pacers. They lead that series 1-0. The Rockets beat the Thunder in game one. And the Warriors beat the Spurs in game one. 132 to 107. And we head to the game twos. Bucks 109, Cavs 106. That series is all tied up at one apiece. Game two, Wizards over the Pacers. The Wizards have a 2 0 lead over Indiana. The Thunder tie up the series with the Rockets 116 to 113. So that one heads back to Houston. Warriors lead the series 2 0 as they head to San Antonio for game three. The Bucks 134, Cavs 105. The Bucks lead the series 2 to 1. LeBron's still out for the Cavs. Wizards over the Pacers, 121 to 112. They lead that series. Rockets over the Thunder, 96-93. Rockets lead the series 2-1. The Warriors go up 3-0 on the Spurs. Cavs come back to tie up the series at two games apiece with Milwaukee. Wizards beat the Pacers and they sweep the series with Indiana. So the Wizards will be on to the Eastern Conference Finals. Thunder, 130 to 116 over the Rockets. That series is all tied up. And the Warriors are headed to the Western Conference Finals with a 4-0 series win. And the Bucks just squeak by the Cavs to take a 3-2 series lead. Thunder over the Rockets, they take a 3-2 series lead in that Game 5. The Cavs beat the Bucks in Game 6, though, to tie the series back up and send it to Game 7. The Rockets beat the Thunder to tie that one up and send it to 7. So Game 7, the Cavs beat the Bucks 129-106. So the Cavs are going to the Eastern Conference Finals. And the Thunder beat the Rockets in Game 7 to send themselves to the Western Conference Finals. So the East Finals, we have the Cavs and the Wizards. Wizards swept the Pacers. The Cavs win in 7 over the Bucks. And LeBron James will be back now for the Cavs in the East Finals. The West Finals, the Thunder and the Warriors. Warriors sweep the Spurs 4-0. Thunder beat the Rockets in 7. So game one between the Wizards and the Cavs, and the Wizards jump out to a lead one game to none with a road victory. The Warriors beat the Thunder in Oklahoma City to take a 1-0 lead. Game two, the Cavs even the series up at one apiece. Game three, the Warriors with another win in OKC, and they could close it out back in Oakland. Wizards lead the series 2-1 with a big win back in Washington. 
And the Warriors with a 118-100 win back in Oakland on the verge of sweeping the Thunder. Wizards beat the Cavs to go up 3-1. And the Warriors do in fact sweep the Thunder with their fourth win in a row. And the Wizards beat the Cavs back in Cleveland and that will send the Wizards to the NBA Finals. So the Wizards with a 4-1 series win over the Cavs and the Warriors with a sweep over the Thunder. So we have the NBA Finals of the Warriors and the Wizards. And Game 1 goes to the Wizards. They take a 1-0 series lead and win in Oakland. Game 2, the Warriors tie the series back up at one apiece. We head back to Washington for Game 3, and the Warriors get the win in Game 3 to take the 2-1 series lead and retake home, uh, home court advantage. And they also win Game 4 in Washington and Game 5 back in Oakland. And once again, the Golden State Warriors are your NBA champions in year number two. And now, Steph Curry, the finals MVP, averaged 26.6 points per game during the playoffs, 7.4 assists per game. And the Warriors have now won three of the last, or sorry, four of the last five NBA titles with the Cavs getting one in 2015-16. So that is it for year number two of our New York Knicks franchise. Up next, we will do the offseason before heading into year number three. And hopefully we can improve upon our playoff appearance and make a push a little bit deeper and improve as a team during this offseason here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming. <laughs>